Danielle and today I am doing a Timu haul. I have been dying to like try this website. I know that so many people are doing partnerships with them and it's kind of made me wonder like okay are the products really good? So I decided to try out the website for myself. Let's get started. So before I jump into it, I want to say that maybe I should have done more research with regards to what items I purchased. I will put on the screen the screenshot of the page so that you guys can see that the items I ordered I thought had decent reviews. I thought everything was going to be fine. But I'm not going to lie and say that I'm fully satisfied with all the items. So this is not a sponsored haul, no one is paying me. This is genuinely just my own user experience using this website. I know that oftentimes we have conversations about fast fashion and if it's valid because people use like boo, um, not boohoo, I mean I guess that's fast fashion too, but more on the lines of Fashion Nova, AliExpress, um, Shein, Shein is a huge one and I tend to stay away from those websites for this exact reason. So the first thing I want to talk about is this shirt. Uh, this is probably my favorite item that I purchased from this, this buying process. The shirt is actually a good quality. It's thick. It reminds me of the white Fashion Nova equivalent. The only downside is just that I don't like how it kind of goes out like this. I wish it would just be more like this like the Fashion Nova equivalent, but this item is soft, it's cute, I will be wearing this. This is probably the best item out of all of them. Next, I also got some fake nails. I have not tried these yet, but they look decent. They come like this. It's kind of hard to go wrong with fake nails, but I wanted to show them to you guys. These should be okay. They just come with the nails. I have nail glue and when I put these on, I will tell you guys how that goes. After that, we first go into this dress. As you guys can see, it is see-through. I purchased this dress not intending for it to be see-through, intending for it to be a genuine dress. It is see-through. I will wear it on the screen. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I was not trying to have the, you can see my bra and panties and they have to be black underneath this, but it is giving that this is that type of dress. So there's that. The next thing I wanna talk about is this two-piece set. This two-piece set is cute. It reminds me of a two-piece set that I ordered on Fashion Nova at one point, a blue one that I've taken pictures in. It top looks like this. I'll show it to you guys on me. The only issue with this outfit is just that when I do the top, it doesn't really cover my top. So maybe I could have gone a size up in this. I think I got a small. I'll put all the details on the screen, of course. But yeah, I like the idea of this outfit. It's not terrible. The only thing, I mean, the material is not terrible on this item, but it's not very thick. It's it's very much... I don't know how to explain it, but it's the type of material where if you snag something, it could easily rip or almost rip. The next item that I want to show you guys is this two-piece set. This material is slightly better than the pink material. Only thing is, I don't really like the fit of the top. When I put this top on, I did not like how it fit me. So I don't know if I'll ever actually wear this. I don't really like the bottom either, to be honest with you guys, um, or how it fits. So I don't know if I'll be wearing this, but I guess the it's decent 
<laughs> like it's decent. I don't know. I just the material is almost like a bathing suit material. So I don't know. The next item I got is this basic black dress. This basic black dress. Uh, I don't really have any issues with this. It's a little bit better quality than the other two items. It's not this sort of swimsuit material. So I can't complain too much. It's just a black dress. So I'll show you guys me in that on the screen. This item I will say I'm likely to wear. I am likely to wear this. So we'll put it over here. The next item I got is like a slightly thicker swimsuit material. And it's this dress here. I don't necessarily have any problems with this dress. I might wear it, maybe with a jacket, to kind of give it more shape. I'll show you guys the dress on me though. I don't know, it wasn't my favorite item, but it wasn't my least favorite item. Uh, I would say that this is okay. Like this is not making me upset, this purchase. I would probably repurchase this, I guess. Then we have this dress right here guys. This is supposed to be like one of those dresses that just does the typical outline of the body. This one is okay. I think maybe I should have sized down maybe with this so that I could feel like it looks better on me. Um, I'll put it on the screen though. I don't know if I like the way these hug my body. I think that's my issue with these maxi uh, bandeau dresses sleeveless dresses is just that I don't know if they fit my body the way that I would want them to. All right, on second thought, this grew on me just now. Just putting it on again, this grew on me. The, the cutout, like, it's got a little cutout little situation right here, which I like. And then I just realized that the material of this is actually different than the blue dress. It is a little thicker and I'll say this piece is almost online with the gray. It's not bad. Then the next item I want to show you guys, the final item I want to show you guys is this dress right here. Now this, after the shirt that I'm wearing now, is probably my second favorite item. I actually already posted a picture on Instagram in this dress. I don't love the way that it fits at the top to be completely transparent with you guys, but I don't hate it enough that it'll prevent me from wearing this dress. This dress is probably my favorite purchase, and I did not expect that. So this is a thick material, it's stretchy, it's not low quality. I could see myself, you know, washing this a couple of times and not having the quality be sacrificed. This item I do endorse. I would say that this and this are my two favorite pieces. The gray dress, the white top. Second to that, I would put this black dress. After that, I would tie these two sleeveless dresses together. They would be tied. Then it would be these two two pieces. And then last, it would be this, because I genuinely don't even know how I'm gonna wear this, and I was most excited for this piece. With that being said, guys, I would just advise you, just like with Shein or any of these websites that we're going on to buy cheap clothes, basically, please make sure that you're comprehensively reading the reviews, and even if you're reading the reviews, maybe be careful. Your best bet might be to just go to influencers that partner with Timu, and I know a few of them, and they get amazing pieces from Timu. So if you go to their Instagrams and they post the ID number of the outfits they're wearing, maybe just get what they're wearing. Because if you go on the website on your own, trying to find something, then you might run the risk of purchasing a few items that are bad quality or not what they seemed, and that might make you upset. With that being said, guys, um, if I haven't said it already, I wanna say thank you guys so much for 4,000 subscribers. It means a lot to me. I'm really trying my best to be consistent here on YouTube and give you guys as much of me as possible. I hope you guys like my little bedroom setup for the haul. We can do hauls in the bedroom. And if you guys have any video suggestions, please leave me a comment because like I said, I'm trying to be as consistent as possible. A thumbs up if you are so inclined and if you're feeling generous, a subscribe would make my day. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a lovely Friday. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.